Hey honeys, Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're viewing this. And honey, we're back for another mutt thing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 100K by the time the end of 2022. Let's get to 100K. I know we can do it. I'm like the little toaster now. I know we can. I know we can. All right. So, you probably guessed it. Taco Bell, that's what I got. But... I just got finished with Memphis. I went to Memphis, what, this past Saturday and Sunday. Had a blast. And um, picked up some new Elvis shirts. This is the Elvis 1968 comeback special. You got Elvis. I think this is the sit-down version. And the stand-up um, stand uh, leather show. Another leather show. And I think that was the opening of Tiger Man. But yes, honeys, Graceland was the bomb. Let's just say that. I love it. Um, if you've ever, if you've never been to Memphis, go to Memphis. I swear, if you're an Elvis fan, you will love it. There's also a great barbecue place I freaking love so, so much. We go there like every, like literally every day when we're there. We go to Marlowe's Barbecue. And if you set the guest house, I think days in, um, they'll pick you up at your hotel, take you to Marlowe's and have a great dinner. Because they're only open four to um, close. And then on the, what, what is it? Then after Memorial Day, they're open for like 12 to 12 or something like that. But, yes, honey, I love the shirt. So, we got some Taco Bell. I'm going to go ahead and dig into it. Let's see. We got a box. Now, there's something about these boxes that I freaking love. I don't know. You get a lot of shit in it. You get a lot of stuff in it. So, let's see what kind of stuff that we got in our box today. Okay. So, it looks like they gave us some um, chips. Uh, looks like a double cheddar chalupa, a taco, and a burrito. So, that's what they gave us today. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Plus, I have some questions. I did a questionnaire on Instagram. You know, our top five questions of the day. So, we got some um, cheese sauce right here. Oh, God. Look at that gooey stuff. Oh. So, we're going to dip this and see. Okay, it just tastes like chips and cheese. But they had the best cheese, though. I can say that. Mmm. So good. You know, I've seen that they had the nacho fries box. So, I hope I didn't put no cheese right there between my eyes. I don't want none of that shit now. Um... I was wanting some fries, too, but I forgot to get them. All right, so here's the chalupa. Damn, it's got more lettuce than it does anything on it. Lettuce, cheese, meat. I don't think this is like a double chalupa or a cheddar chalupa. I think this is just a regular one. But, honeys, when I say the chalupa is so good, it is always fabulous. Mmm. Get a little thumbnail. Mmm. So good. Damn, it's more like yesterday's bologna. Mmm. Just kidding. <laughs> if that was shit would be dried up by now. Mmm. Mm. So good. And I asked them if they had sweet tea. They didn't. They were out. They were like, what a Pepsi do? I'm like, okay. I will. I love my Coke, though, but Pepsi will do. Um, 
They just plow this shit with lettuce. Mmm. Lettuce and cheese so freaking good. So, last week's mukbang was filmed in a cinematic mode. I think I said it right. This week is just going to be filmed in a regular video frame. So, which do you guys like best? Cinematic or regular? Comment below. If you guys like cinematic, I would love to do that more often if you want me to. It's just so good. And it's only like six, it's only like seven or eight dollars. And you got a lot of shit. Mm. Especially like how high the, the world's getting now. Mm. You know, we gotta go with that good shit. Get that combo. It's so good. Alright, so we got some questions to answer. Mm. I know I say I hate Pepsi somehow, but now it's just good. Alright. So, questions for this one. Number one. How much was that Elvis cup that you bought in Memphis? Okay. So, the cup was like $16.95. But, I know a lot of people are going to say, Oh, that's too damn much. Really, no, it's not. Because if you buy the cup, and if you go more times in 2022, you get free freaking refills. Who doesn't like free refills? So, go ahead and get that cup if you're in Graceland. Excuse me. But yeah, if you want the uh, if you want free refills in Graceland, and you keep going and going and going this year, stop spending that extra money. You can be spending it somewhere else, somewhere nice on yourself, or you know maybe lunch or something. But keep that money. So get you a cup, get it for sixteen ninety five, and have unlimited drinks all you want. Number two, will you ever get serious about weight loss? You have this platform to inspire others to do the same. Honey, I'm not trying to lose weight. I don't know where people are getting it from. I exercise, I can say that. Especially in those TikTok videos, girl. I be exercising up a storm. But, and work, you know, um, working at my job. But besides that, I really don't really do anything else. I really, did I say really twice? Shit. But I really don't do anything else besides that. Go to work. TikTok dances. I love my... I love my fit. Um, so there's really nothing to say, hey, you need to do some weight loss. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, you need to do some weight loss. No, honey. No, honey. I'm not worried about no weight loss. Be happy in your own body. Don't push others to do whatever they, whatever you want them to do. Let them worry about their body. You worry about your body. So, always, you know, you know, worry about yourself. Okay. Um, but yes, honeys. My platform is to inspire others by being who they are, being comfortable in their own body. Um, that is mine. That is my platform. Bringing people laughs. You know, loving the dances that I do. Those are what I do my platform for. And, you know, I give people the confidence, you know, to be who they are. To not worry about what other people think of them. Because I don't give a damn what other people think of me. You know, when I was a kid, I was, you know, looked, to, looked down upon with my classmates all the time. But did that stop me from living my life and being who I want to be in life? No. I got made fun of for being um, LGBT. I got fun, made fun of my weight. I got made fun of my, um, got called four eyes in school. But did that stop me? Hell no. It can never stop you. You have to empower yourself 
to be better than who they better than who they are. They're the bullies. You got to empower yourself to be better than them. Just keep your held hell high. Keep going about your day. Keep being positive. I know it's hard in a dark world that we live in at this moment. But guess what? You just have to keep saying positive things. If you think negative, you're going to get negative. It's kind of like in science. you got an A and a minus and a minus and an A. Will that work? Really, in my opinion, no, it won't. Because if you got a plus and you got a minus, with that minus, you're going to say, you know, you're doubting yourself. That minus is doubt. Plus is positive. Shoot for that plus plus equals a positive. Always remember that. And you will have the best circuit ever. So that is my opinion. That's my platform for. All right. Number three. What was the best moment of this trip to Graceland? So, if y'all don't remember, I went to Graceland last year with uh, my cousin Felton. And then, um, I went with my coworker and bestie, Sam. Um, so, we went, what, Saturday morning. Girl, let me tell you, I had to wake up at uh, th 3 o'clock that morning. I only had two hours of sleep. But let me just say this. I still made my ass to the airport to go to Graceland. Um, the best part was, you know, spending it with Sam. Um, we got to learn, um, we read books, learned new things about Elvis and Graceland that we didn't know about. And, you know, we ate some awesome food. We had breakfast at the guest house. We had, uh, a, what, a red velvet cake at EP Grill. I think that's what it's called in, in the guest house. Cause there's like two restaurants there. Then, um, we went gift shopping and I got this shirt. I got like four more shirts and stuff and I got some more of the things, but I'm going to do that in another um, video though. That's going to be on the end of the month. I'm going to post a vlog of Graceland because, you know, we have a lot of good stuff. And plus, you know, seeing it, the guest house was good because it had like a 400 plus seat theater. Um, it was just really good. And we had a blast. I didn't want Sunday to come because I know Sunday that we had to go back, back home. But, you know, I guess I, you know, I guess we all face that. We, when we all go on vacation, we don't want to go back home. But in reality, we do. Um, I know I hate that shit, but hopefully I can't wait to go back to Graceland this year. We're probably going back like November the 17th because they're doing like a Elvis, um, Another Elvis giveaway record day. I think it's like Blue Christmas. And plus they got the Christmas light lighting of Graceland. And um, they're doing a Christmas tour at 2 o'clock. So I can't wait for that. And, but yeah. So I can't wait for that stuff, y'all. Number four. What was your favorite cartoon to watch when you were a kid? When you came home from school? Alright, so when I came home from school, I normally watched Arthur. Like when I was six or seven years old, Arthur would be the, I won't ever forget, 5 p.m. watching um, PBS Kids and watching Arthur, Barney and Friends. I remember that it used to be the shit I used to mess with, used to fuck with all the time was Arthur and Barney. But as I grew older, um, the Cowardly Dog that was on Cartoon Network. Um, the Flintstones. Everybody's got to love the Flintstones. Um, Hey Arnold. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other shows. The Wild Thornberries, Little Bill. All that. The Amanda Show. The list goes on and on. I can go on and on about Nickelodeon and um, Cartoon Network. But those were my uh, favorites to watch. Um, number five, hardest part about acting. Love you, girl. I love you too, honey. The favorite part, I mean, the hardest part about acting is only probably remembering. All right, honey, sorry about that. I don't know what the hell happened. All right, so the question is, what's the hardest part of acting? So I could say the hardest part is remembering every single line. Um, remembering the three to five pages of dialogue that you might have to read. Sometimes it's like two or three sentences. 
Um, but it's just the dialogue for me that gets me every time. Like, if it's a five-page dialogue, I start freaking out because it's like, I don't know, it's like overbearing. It's like, whew, like it works your nerves. Um, plus, you know, if you're on your own trying to remember your lines, you get them. But, like, once you're standing in front of a large crowd and you got to say them, that can, um, you know, be tensey at times. But, yeah, that's the only hardest part to acting, in my opinion. But I love it. I love acting. We have, like, I work with the best director ever, um, Billy Butler. He's amazing. We have an amazing cast on Baby Oopsie, um, the new and um, old cast that we have. The new one's going to come out this summer. So, I know you guys cannot wait to watch those. So, go ahead and get your Full Moon subscriptions. Go ahead and get that right now. It's like $6.99 a month. Or you can get it for like $70 for a whole year and save some money. But yeah, that would be the hardest part for me. And all right, honeys. Well, I think that's the end of it. I'm going to have another chip and um, cheese. Mmm. So good. All right, honeys. So go ahead and Hit that like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well, where you can be notified when the um, where you can be notified when the next mukbang uploads. I'm gonna try to do some more videos as well, and we have the vlog for Memphis that's dropping at the end of the month. I know you guys can't wait for that, and I'm also I'm also on Cameo. If you guys want a personal shout out. Great for birthday messages, anniversaries, or just to cheer somebody up. Click the link in the description box below. And I love you so much, honeys. Follow me on Instagram because that's where most of my content day-to-day -day is where it's at. is on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the um, description box below, too. Love you, honeys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, honeys. Bye.